books of the Bible, Proverbs. So part of God's story is a book in the Bible called Proverbs, and it goes like this. The Bible is made up of all kinds of stories, poems, and letters, and it's all about God. The Bible has two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The book of Proverbs is in the Old Testament, right after Psalms, but before Ecclesiastes. We call it a book, but it's really a group of 31 poems and sayings from ancient Israel. We know most of the Proverbs came from King Solomon because, well, it says so. When Solomon became king of Israel, he asked God for wisdom, and God gave it to him. Being able to know what's true and right and then actually do it, that's being wise or having wisdom. Wisdom is what the book of Proverbs is really all about. Proverbs 9.10 says, If you want to become wise, you must begin by respecting the Lord. To know the Holy One is to gain understanding. In other words, all wisdom comes from God. So if we want to become wiser, we should try to get to know God better. One way to do that is to read, memorize, and practice the Proverbs. Some Proverbs help us remember to trust God, like Proverbs 18.19. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The godly run to it and are safe. That means whenever we feel scared or worried, it's wise for us to talk with God about it and ask him to take care of us. Picture someone running from danger, seeing a tall, strong tower in the distance and going toward it for safety. In the same way, God is always a safe place. Some Proverbs just tell us the truth about the world. In Proverbs 6, there's an ant who acts wisely because it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Like the ant, we can make wise plans for the future and work hard today. Some Proverbs are a little confusing or even unusual to us today, but they still show us something true. Proverbs 26.11 says, As a dog returns to its vomit, so fools repeat their folly. It's kind of gross to imagine, right? If it's so gross, why would a dog go back to it? That's sort of how God feels when he sees people sin, and sin some more, and then do it again. He wants to help us turn away from it and never go back. So some Proverbs show us God's wisdom for how we live and treat others. Proverbs 3.3 says, Never let loyalty and kindness get away from you. Wear them like a necklace. Write them deep within your heart. A kind person's good actions shine outward to others like a beautiful necklace. But even more importantly, their goodness comes from deep inside their heart. It's like what Proverbs 7 says, Guard my teachings as you would guard your own eyes. Tie them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. See, the point of reading Proverbs isn't just to fill our minds with knowledge about God. The Proverbs help us learn God's wisdom with all our heart, body, and soul. In other words, to trust that He knows what's best for us and live the way He wants us to. Maybe that's why the most famous proverb is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Basically, we can trust God with anything in our lives even when we don't understand. For thousands of years, people have memorized that verse and made songs out of it. And God likes it when we talk about trusting Him. But He loves it when we actually trust Him. And that's a little about the book of the Bible called Proverbs. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The Proverbs are poems and short sayings. They're in the Old Testament. Most were written by King Solomon. Wisdom is about respecting God. God is like a strong tower. Wise people are like hard-working ants. Fools are like dogs eating their own puke. God cares about our hearts. The Proverbs help us to trust God. And that's a part of God's story.